You guys are not going to believe this, but I made a lot of discoveries in between these two robots. This is my cousins, and this is the one that I got brand new in the box. They are way different, and I thought they were the same, and I'm going to show why. Number one, this is the sound chip. For, for anybody that actually knows the chips, this is the sound chip of the new one. It's nowhere near that. Um, it is actually, it has the same shape and everything. It has a little contact difference where like, you know, the location of the contacts, but it's not the same. Number two, I might actually end up, actually, hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Here's my cousins and here's the one that I got. Um, just take a big ass look at the things I'm going to show because they are fucking different. Number one, the way the the arm stoppers are made is different they are bigger on this one you know a lot better made and here's the thing i made a discovery on this robot and it's this this robot was made in 1992 unlike this one reason to be it has a lot better quality and it looks like a lot like they spent more money in making it than this one reasons i'm going to show them right now number one these are the arms, uh, the arm stoppers. Now, you guys might notice there's a pink and there's a red one. And that actually has a reason. These are made out of the plastic that they used for the Super Robotic Rangers. Now, if anybody isn't familiar with the Super Robotic Rangers, it's a series of robots that are exactly the same as these, especially this one, but they are colored just like the Power Rangers. There's a, there's a green one, a blue one, a black one, a red one, a yellow one, a pink one. And, you know, they come in a bunch of colors. And then we have the deluxe versions, which are these. And there's another one that I think is radioactive. It's like red, yellow, and uh, white. But the point is, this was made along with the original batch of robots of 1992. So this is my cousin's is actually a 1992 model. I thought... All of the Chrome ones were made in 1993 because of the fact Robot Fighter belongs to 1993. And it is, you know, it's Chrome. So I, I was like, maybe they were just, you know, trying to make some Robocop style colors. But no, apparently these were made in 1992. So take a good look at the gearbox. And now I'm going to show you the other gearbox, which is this one. There's not really much differences, but when you get to find the retainer here, it's actually longer. This is how short it is on the newer one. Now that doesn't finish there. That doesn't finish there. I'm having a big ass issue with this one and I'm gonna show why. Um, I'll actually try to, I'll, I'm gonna have to take the arms out. <coughs> okay, there we go. Look at the way the tins are set up on this one. Of course, ignore the uh, relay because it's getting pushed by the piece. Oh, by the way, yeah, I got I to gotta actually point it out. Look at the piece. The piece has a, has a slot where it actually attaches to the relay. On this one, there is no slot. Now, that's like the least difference. I'm going to show the bigger ones. You guys see right there. There is a metallic gear and there's no screw holders on the sides. In fact, this gearbox is holded in like this part is holded in by three screw holders. One right there, one right there, and the other one in the front, nearby the front. Now, on this one, the thing is way more different, okay? And I can relate this gearbox to Robotrick Warriors. So these were from the mid-90s. This was from the uh, the early 90s, but these from the mid. So as I said before, number one, look, it's all plastic. This gear is broken, okay? It's split. And that's the problem that most of the Chrome Crusaders and top robots have because they are not metallic. This one has never had any, any issues or anything because of the fact the gear, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll actually lift it up. The selective gear that goes up and down is actually made out of metal. You guys see it right there on that little slot? That one, it's metallic. It's uh, bronze, I believe, or something like that. 
On this one, size 34, it's the exact same thing, but it's plastic, which is a much cheaper and shittier um, <coughs> alternative. Now, again, I'll show the way the tins are set up and everything. First of all, the piece. You guys see the slot a lot better now, the spring right there. On this one, it does have a spring. Don't misunderstand me. The spring is actually uh, kept away right now, but the uh, it doesn't have the slot, nor... Well, of course, yeah, it's not made of black plastic, and um, that's the only difference. Now, the relay. The relay, the top part is bent, as you guys can see, so it makes contact with the lower one. And it has, uh, it has no holder besides this one. This one has a holder in the other side, like, you know, a bit, a bit before that one. And it's not bent at all. It's completely straight. Now, look at how the tints are set up. This is the negative of the lights. If anybody doesn't know or isn't or is unfamiliar with these robots, the main positive is used for all the lights and the negative is connected to the uh, to the chip. Exactly the same with the, the top robot from my cousin. The one from my cousin has the exact same thing, but it's a lot better made. Reason? Look at the tints. This is the negative one. And this is the positive one. It's straight attached to the battery contact, unlike this one. On this one, you just got to put the wires from the battery contact, which if you ask me, it's completely stupid. And there are actually sockets right there for another two tins, which once again, they, they, they're just not worth it. It's, it's a lot more worth it on this design, to be honest. So my theory, as for now, is that the Robot Fighter and the Chrome Crusader were made in 1990. Of course, yeah, Robot Fighter is 1993, but they changed the design on 1995 or 4. Because 1992 and 93, they were all bit like, built like this. In fact, I could go ahead and bring Robot Fighter and show you it has the exact same structure as the top robot from my cousin. While this one, I have none that is just like this. Now, it doesn't finish there. Don't. Don't, just don't stop the video because it, it doesn't finish there. There's more. Number one, look at this gear. This gear is molded in the lower torso block and it's made out of black plastic because I've, as I've said before, it's the exact same mold. There's no way to remove it nor anything. Now take a look at this. I am actually in some sort of agreement with this because you can actually replace it and I actually am forgetting a piece. There's this piece that has three little tabs that you basically snap on here. You put it on here so that when you assemble the robot, it will not come off. It will hold the tabs tight so they don't come off nor anything. Um, <coughs> so yeah, that's another very big difference on it. The fact that it has a removable gear. And uh, what else? Of course, this one has a white speaker. This one has a black one, which I still have to replace because it's getting really like... Um, how was it called? It's getting scratchy. That's what I mean. It's getting scratchy because it's, it's starting to get rusted. And this one's... I don't know why this one's like brand new. The, the glue on the speaker did not even decay. On this one, yeah, it's a completely different story. So, um, I believe that's practically it. I'll try to see a few extra things to see if there's anything different from both. I mean, let me see that one. I should have actually put the gear the opposite way. Oh, what, whatever, fuck it. And uh, that one, no, I don't, I don't think there's any other difference whatsoever. It's just that the newer one is like a lot worse built than the original one. So, conclusion? There are two generations of these robots, 1992-93 and 1994-95. So, just to let you all know, I'm gonna do a slight comparison for the hell of it on the chests. Uh, this is my, this is the original, and this is the that one. They aren't really quite different. I'll say that they actually are practically almost the same. But I just felt like I had to go ahead and you know, <coughs> and compare it. But I believe, I mean, I believe that's practically it. I mean, I'll try to see what, what's up with the chests. Because here's the chests, the new one and my cousin's. Um, as you guys can see, I, I'm i doing my best to keep it all together. 
And uh, yeah, it's on this one, it's practically the same. Uh, what about this? Yep, the same, exactly the same. And the bot area, everything's practically the exact same thing. So there's no differences on that spot. It's just uh, internal like electronic and mechanical differences that are showing up. So I've said before, this one has black holders and they are smaller, meaning that probably the only, hold on, uh, let's see. No, actually, never mind. They, there are little stoppers, but they are smaller than the original ones. So yeah, basically we can see there's actually differences that show up in between these. And I'm glad that I actually have both variants now because I can say that Top Robot, I mean, unless I'll, I'll actually have to do this, I'll have to ask my cousin if he has a picture of the robot with the box because I'm sure he did have a picture of the robot with the box. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to tell him, listen, could you please show me the, a picture of the robot with the box when it was new when they gave it to you? I know there are pictures because I've seen them before. I never really paid attention to the box itself. So that will determine if this is actually a top robot or it, if it has another name. I believe it is a top robot because of the fact that's the main version that was you know, distributed to Argentina. There were a few robotic, um, super robotic rangers that were shipped to Argentina, but other than that, I doubt it. So yeah, I'll have to go ahead and just research more on the origins of this one. Other than that, I am fixing this one. I am gonna replace the gear as soon as I find one to replace and I'll have to get this one back up. So I'll be right back. I'll, I'll reassemble this one and, and finish the video. Okay, so right before I reassemble it, I'm gonna point this out even though I did already. The first gear, because there's three gears on the on the body, okay? There's one gear that is the one that goes up and down. There's the other two gears that prevent it from getting like stuck when it spins. Because again, if you forcibly spin it, you know, one, two times, the robot can actually get his shit straight and still... Sorry, as I was saying before. Um, what we got here, as I've said before, is that the gear that touches with the black plastic gear is an actual plastic one. But the first one and the one that goes up and down are actually metallic. So I just had to point that out. Now this guy will be reassembled and we'll continue. Well then, there we have him. Now, continuing with the one that I purchased, just like an update. Um, the chip, the original chip is dead as I've said before. You turn it on, it only makes a sound. It only makes the uh, sound that this one makes when you turn it on. That's practically it. Even though you trigger it and everything and you know the wires are fine and everything, it, it just doesn't work. So what I ended up doing, I don't know if it's actually noticeable or not. You, har you hardly can see it, but I did actually install one of these chips that has the, the digital sounds and you know, it's, it's again, it's not the exact same sounds because there's only one that actually does different, which I'm going to show right now, actually. That's the only different sound. That is the only different sound that this one will have in comparison. Yeah, keep in mind, these things are dead. Fucking batteries are dead. But yeah, <laughs> that's the only difference. And well, now the only thing I gotta do is fix it up mechanically a little bit more. As I've said before, the, the A tooth gear is split and the 10 tooth gear as well. So I'll have to replace those two and then I'll continue on with the final assembly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next repair or whatever comes next video.